We know that the liberals want to have electoral reform. They seem to think we need to go to some form of proportional representation where parties get the number of seats according to the percentage of the popular vote. Uh, but there's an odd little thing happening here. The liberals are actually going to take six out of 10 seats on the committee, even though they only got 39% of the vote. Democratic Institutions Minister Maria Monsef asked about that and, well, listen to part of her answer. The composition, uh, the proportion of those who will be on the committee reflects the composition that we currently have in the House. Trust me, folks, it did not get better from there. Let's bring in Ray Hurd now to discuss the entire issue of electoral reform. The Liberals seem hell-bent on it. Ray, is this a, a liberal idea? I, I seem to run into New Democrats, Conservatives, and Liberals who think that first-past-the-post is the most horrible system in the world and has to be done away with. It, what's going on? Well, I think I will quote Winston Churchill, my hero, and I think yours, who said, two chairs for Western democracy. It's much better than all the other systems. It's not perfect what we have, but it is much better. And let me oh, tell okay, you why okay, but I say hold that. on, hold on. Uh, people like Maryam Monsef and Justin Trudeau would say, well, it's still Western democracy. We're just going to get rid of first past the post, this evil boogeyman, and we're going to bring in some kind of proportional representation, the, the fairer system. Okay, I'm talking about British parliamentary democracy, Britain's been a democracy like that with a party system, first past the post for a long time. All these other countries, especially the French and the Germans, whom we defeated, the Germans, in two world wars, even though they may have beat, beaten the Brits at their national game, which is soccer. But, Brian, it doesn't work when you have a multi party system with proportional representation, it leads to the sort of chaos you have in countries like Italy and Europe. Now, you know, and our viewers know, Europe is in a lot of trouble right Absolutely. now. Absolutely. The British people may vote to leave Europe. Other countries have a legitimate backlash against unrestrained immigration. So many of these countries are governed by proportional representation, which causes, not always, but usually, governments collapse because of the multi-party voting reasons that bring them down. At least in our system, a government in a British parliamentary system stays in power until it loses the confidence of the House, rather than gets thrown out by a combination of interest groups. So I prefer to have what we have. And I think Justin, for a change, is being pretty smart here. When I was working for the leader of the Liberal opposition, John Turner, we always used to say the biggest way to delay anything is to appoint a parliamentary committee to investigate. Oh, but but, Someone, but no, Ray, how long will that take? Ray, no, 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 no. These guys are going to be on the fast track because the government says they are still committed to 2019 having a brand new electoral system. And Elections Canada has told them they need two years two to years. do any changes to the voting system. So that means that by October 2017, they have to come up with the changes. So the committee, which is being struck now, 10 members of a parliament plus two ex officio members, one from the Bloc, one from the Greens, they have to study this. They have to submit the report. The government has to consider it, present legislation to Parliament. That has to be debated and voted on. That, Believe it or not, that may sound like a long time, not just under a year and a half, but in a parliamentary system with such a big job as this, that's not a lot of time for everyone to have their say. I agree with you, but it does mean they have time to they'll probably bring it forward at the last minute. It will reflect the views of Justin Trudeau, because he'll order his members, who are the majority, to do his bidding. So basically, this is a dictatorial way of doing things. It's pretend democracy. And I think that the main question has been avoided. The only way to do it properly is to have a referendum, and we've had referendums on other issues before, including the Meech Lake one, which I covered, which was a disaster, 
But I do think, Brian, if the Canadian people really want it, and if the question is properly put, do you want to continue with the parliamentary system or do you want to introduce an alien, alien system <laughs> there, which hasn't worked elsewhere? And There's uh, a stack question, right? Hold on. You, you, you said that you think Justin Trudeau is going to make his members do his bidding. I want to play a clip for everyone from question period. And, and Elizabeth May asks him that very question. Are you going to control the members? And Trudeau says, I'll have as much control over my members as the Green Party leader has over hers. But she's the only member. Roll tape. My question is to the Prime Minister. For the recently announced public engagement and consultation process on electoral reform to have any legitimacy, I completely agree with the Honourable Minister that we must all, on all sides of this place, set partisanship aside. Therefore, my question to the Prime Minister is, can he give this place his word that the Liberal members of Parliament on that committee will be free to vote in the interests of Canadian democracy and not merely for partisan advantage? Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, we made the commitment in the last election to ensure that this was the last election to be held under First Past the Post. We are keeping that promise with a process that reflects our shared values of fairness, inclusiveness, gender equity, openness and mutual respect. On the issue of committee members, I can assure the leader of the Green Party that I will no more control the Liberal members on that committee than she will control the Green member on that committee. So. I don't know what he's saying there. It, you know, I, I hope Elizabeth May well, has I control over her say. over herself. Sometimes she doesn't, but I, I think Trudeau will tell his members what to do, and we'll get a report that reflects very much his views. He'll tell them what to do. He expelled all the members of the Senate from his caucus. Trudeau, who admires the Chinese dictatorship, as you will mm -hmm. recall, will do it his way. But the real question I have. Ask the Canadian people, do they want it? Give them time to assimilate all these arguments and to check how the existing alternatives to a British Westminster system work. And I don't think they work. And the other thing, Brian, we're still a confederation in which the provinces have a lot to say. How will the individual provincial governments huh? feel about the federal government interfering in the process, not by discussion. I think if I were running a news organization, and I ran too, I would be asking the premiers, how does Brad Wall feel about this? How does Notley feel about it when she's not firefighting? So there are all sorts of issues here that have to be addressed. But basically, my position is, a parliamentary system on the Westminster model works. Okay, the, and nothing is better than the, Let me ask you this to finish off, and that is, do you think that part of the reason that people uh, believe the current system is unfair is because they don't understand it? They seem to think that if you get 20% nationally, you need to get 20% of the votes, but we're not voting for a president. We're voting for our uh, local member, and then the local member makes decisions on our behalf. The, the parties and the power the parties hold may be warping that, but the solution isn't to throw out the system, it's to chip away at the power of the parties. Do you think that people don't understand how our current system works, Ray? Oh, I think most Canadians are much smarter than Justin Trudeau, Trudeau thinks they're. They're smart, they'll analyze it, and Canadians, unlike the French, say, or the Chinese, are not revolutionary people. Things that work Canadians like keeping. Canadians are, by instinct, small C conservative. And I think the polls will be very important here. If the media does its duty, which is a big problem, and presents to the Canadian people both sides of the argument, but the way newspapers are being edited now, usually they are just mouthpieces for the owners and it really depends what are the owners of the mainstream media field and what does the state broadcaster, the CBC, think? Because you will recall that in the election, Justin offered and is giving the CBC, which is spendthrift and wasteful, a lot more yep. money. So what will the hacks at the CBC, and I think it's fair to say the parliamentary press gallery in the nation's capital, has more members from the CDC, I think. Yes, it, they, yes they do. Sides, than 
anyone else than all the rest put together. So there are lots of things I don't like about this. Um, and it's got to be a fair process. Both sides have to be given equal opportunity to, pre to present the arguments. And Justin must have another reason he's doing this. The real reason Justin is doing this, I think, is that his polling shows that the Liberals will get even more votes. I think so, and I think that's why I'll go to ranked ballot. Ray, we got to leave it there. Thanks so much. Uh, do recall, Thanks, everyone, uh, when we did our poll on this, 73% said they wanted a vote. Do you want to vote? If so, sign our petition at letusvote.ca, then share it on social media. That's letusvote.ca. Post it to Facebook, post it to Twitter, email it to all your friends and family. Thanks for watching. Click here to never miss a Rebel update. Want even more of the Rebel? Well, click here to become a premium member.